Photosynthesis occurs in two steps inside of the chloroplast. The first step is the light reaction, which occurs in the thylakoid discs. Here, energy from light is captured, and water is split to create ATP and NADPH, which are energy molecules that will be used in the next reaction. The light reaction also creates oxygen as a byproduct. The ATP and NADPH are used in the dark reaction, which takes carbon dioxide and converts it into glucose. The NADP plus and ADP produced can be recharged somewhat like a battery back at the light reaction in the thylakoid disc. Let's look at the light reaction up close. The membrane of the thylakoid discs have proteins embedded, which carry out the light reaction. Outside of the thylakoid disc is the stroma, and inside is the thylakoid space. Light strikes the photosystems, which are clusters of chlorophyll. The captured light excites two electrons, which are then transferred from one molecule to the next by the electron transport chain, which is just a series of proteins. This process also brings some hydrogen ions into the thylakoid space. An enzyme then splits a water molecule, releasing oxygen, which diffuses out of the plant. Right now, there's only one oxygen atom, but when another water molecule is split, two oxygen atoms will form O2. The hydrogen ions that are produced are left in the thylakoid space. Light strikes again, and the electrons are excited and load onto an NADP plus with a hydrogen ion to become NADPH. ATP, the main energy currency of cells, is made using the protons from the water molecules with the enzyme ATP synthase. Then it's time for the dark reaction. Remember, the dark reaction occurs in the stroma, the fluid surrounding the thylakoid discs. But dark reaction is kind of a misnomer. It can and does happen in the presence of light. It just doesn't need light to occur. It's also referred to as the Calvin cycle or the light independent reaction. In the Calvin cycle, six carbon dioxide molecules from the atmosphere, along with plenty of ATP and NADPH, are converted into a molecule of glucose, which has the formula of C6H12O6. It takes six turns of the Calvin cycle to create glucose. Then the plant can use that glucose for energy or to make cellulose. Some plants use different variations on the light and dark reactions to make glucose. C4 plants make a four carbon compound so that they can partially close their stomata to prevent water loss during the day. And the four carbon compounds can be converted back into CO2 for the Calvin cycle later. Plants like corn use this method. CAM, or Crassulation Acid Metabolism plants like cactuses, open their stomata at night and close them during the day to conserve water. They have to do this because they live in such hot environments. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.